everyone welcome back to my channel I'm on Poshmark Canada rainbow poops uh, Poshmark US rainbow poops one and on Instagram rainbows after midnight I'm just in my truck um, starting up we just had a big snowstorm so uh, it's, a, it's a little intense out here but the thrift stores have opened not all there are a few stores that are still closed um, and then today we had our storm well last night so stuff like Playlist Closet is not open. They kind of closed today due to the weather. But um, it's just after 9 a.m. and Talese is open. So I think that's going to be my first stop today. So we're going to kind of do like a thrift with me kind of thing. And yeah, we'll see what we find. So let's try to make our way over there. All right, guys. So we are at Talese. I made it. Um, the drive was not the best, but... That's what you do when you are a thrifter and you haven't been to the thrift store in a long time. So there is literally two other cars here. <laughs> and there is somebody I think going inside. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Alright, so there is not many of us in here. So I'm I'm really hoping, honestly, that I'm gonna be hitting some gold in here today. But I mean you never know what you are gonna find in the store. So First step is gotta take the jacket off because I think it's gonna get a little hot in here. Got my bags and yeah, um, let's go in and see how we do. All right, so I'm out of the first store. Two hours I was in that store. Um, Cause I haven't been in obviously in so long. I wanted to go through kind of everything. And I am being very, very picky on what I pick up. Considering I am selling on eBay and Poshmark now US. Although for some reason at the time of this recording, I have an issue with my account, but let's hope it all goes through. So the thing with Talese is that they are expensive. Their prices are expensive. I did not get too many items. I got, I got eight things and I spent $153. Why? Because one of the pieces I picked up, I was debating if I should get it or not. And I was going back and forth, like, should I pick it up? Should I not? Should I? It's in perfect condition. Um, it just needs to go to the right person. But that was $45 at a thrift store. <laughs> it boggles my mind. But based on the brand, based on the style, based on the condition, I thought I would pick it up. Um, so I'm going to go through this. Let's see here. Start in the bottom. So yeah, I didn't really pick up too many things. Actually, we'll just go through the top. First thing I picked up was a jacket. I know we're going into spring. Size 14. This is a Harvey Bernard. It's an extra large. I just thought based on the style. It's like tweed print. It's got this fur trim. It's really good condition. It's really it's faux fur actually. It's not real fur, which is great. But yeah, that's the first piece I picked up. I'm going to see if I can just pile this all here. I don't want to be here too long because the girl's like, oh, that's your truck over there. I have a very uh, noticeable vehicle. So next is a pair of vintage jeans. I actually grabbed two pairs of vintage jeans. They're like the high-waisted vintage style, size 29. And these ones are just blue. But there are those, you know, mom jean kind of style, kind of flared. Oh, they're really cool. So I can't let those go away. Those are great. 
Um, I don't pick up a lot of free people, but this is like a linen dress. Well, it's half linen. It's in the large. I can never find free people in a large. I don't know about you guys, but it's always small, extra small because it fits bigger. It's going to be hard to show you, but it's a maxi dress. Um, it's really long, really pretty. Based on the style and the condition, there was a few strings on there I did uh, have to pick up. This is what I spent the most on. Again, I just got it because it's in great condition. The brand is good. Um, it's more current. It just needs to go to the right person. It's a Sandro Paris. A Sandro Paris. And it's a blazer jacket. And it's got like this tie. It's kind of hard to show. That's the pattern. It's really nice. I think it was, I think it said a size 38. I'm pretty sure it's a 38. What does it say here? Uh, yeah, it's a size 38. So that's another reason why, because it's not like a super tiny size. And it's just, yeah, like a polyester blend kind of thing. But Sandro Paris is a very high-end brand. So I'm really hoping I can get maybe like 150 to 200 for that. That's kind of why I picked that up. Again, I don't pick up a lot of, you watch my videos, a lot of um, Aritzia pieces. This was half off. And it's a babaton. Even the girl's like, that's cute. Made with silk and cashmere. Again, another reason why I picked it up. So it's just a basic long sleeve, but then the back has open detail and then it's got the silk tie up. And this is a size, I know my video is probably not very good because there's someone beside me, um, medium. And I always feel awkward when there's someone beside me. Three more things. Another pair of vintage jeans. These are 36. I don't know if there's a tag inside. If these fit me, which I don't think they would, I would be keeping these because I've always wanted a pair of these like ass, ass, well, acid wash vintage jean. I don't know if they've been hemmed. They've been hemmed, so I'm probably going to de-hem these. Because someone did hem them up. They're a little short. There's like a tiny mark on there, but I'm pretty sure that'll wash out. It's like a little stain. Two items left. Picked up a Lululemon. So this is a size 12 Lululemon. It's not the dance one, but it's like a similar style. I'm not even sure what these are, but down the leg, it kind of looks like it. They have the the pocket. This is this like the tie here. But yeah, I don't know if these are, I don't think they're studio dance, but they could be like one of their other studio dance kind of mix things. Okay. And then we have the final one. These are cropped, I believe. Lululemons. And this is a size 8. I really like the pattern. And these are just the cropped leggings. So I mean, it's pretty good. I think I'll definitely make that money back just by selling a few pieces. And that's kind of what I'm doing is I'm looking at more the return on the item as opposed to like, oh, just buy something cheap and you know, you'll get like five, ten dollars out of it. It's kind of like, I don't want to ha have a million items because I've been, I cleared out almost all my death pile and there's a lot of stuff in there. I was like, why did I buy this? This is garbage. Why did I buy this? <laughs> Nobody's going to want to buy this. <laughs> but when I was newer, I was just kind of, you know figuring stuff out and I didn't do a lot of research because I was still new and now I've done a lot of research but yeah all right we're off to the next store see you guys soon all right guys so we're at the next location value village I did a donation so I got a 20% off coupon which I'm going to use in the store it's still snowing here and it's cold and it's slippery I actually almost fell a couple times but this is my life working outside all day. I got my donation bag. And yeah, last time I was here, I did find a lot of good things in this location. So I'm hoping I will find some good stuff today. I also parked on a weird area, but it's gonna be very easy to get uh, out of here because the parking lot was not very plowed. So wish me luck.
so I am back from Value Village. I spent this time $98. Uh, I did have a 20% off coupon, so that helps. Let's see how many items I got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I got 15 items, so more than before. I just literally just got back to my truck. Okay, um, let's go through this haul. Uh, this store is a little smaller, Value Village. I did go through most of the store, actually. Uh, oh, my first item has a little bit of a mark, which you couldn't see because of the tag, but I think it's from the hanger. So my first item, I got this bag. It's just black on the back. It's kind of padded. It's just a basic zip up bag. I thought that was really fun and unique. So I had to grab that. I think it was like $3. Obviously I had the 20% off. Um, I saw this in there and I wasn't too sure about it. It's a bag called Spray Ground New York. The journey begins. It looks like this. Um, I think it's something similar to that ape. I don't know if you guys know that ape, uh, bathing ape or something. I don't know. Oh no, there's like one little rippy rip. Okay, that's okay. It actually wasn't much. Um, yeah, it's like some limited edition little backpack. That's a little wet. Only four, so I thought, why not get that and see how that goes. So I've been doing a lot of tag looking up, like the inside tags as well. So this one was, I don't know the brand because it has um, a dry cleaning tag on it. I'm actually going to take that off right now because I was very curious what the brand was. In Habit. And it says P. Which obviously I'm assuming it's like a small. Because this was um, acrylic wool and alpaca. And it's like the whole sweater has this like design throughout and it's really soft. It's got a mock neck. That was really cute. Okay. The next piece, it's got some pilling. Um, I think that's on the inside. Yeah, I can fix that. Was Lululemon size six. This is just like a little cardigan knit sweater and then it just has the lululemon the the symbol on the back but it's like a little cardigan shrug and then it's long on the front or wait yeah the front pieces are long so that was great next item so i'm going to be starting to pick up more zara pieces especially with tags this one was new with tag um they just cut like the tag off and this is size small. I also really like the pattern of this. You can kind of, I don't know if you guys can see. It's got like a gold sparkle. It's long. It's got like the frills there. I really like that one. Okay. So I'm assuming the person that owned that white sweater also owned this because it's got the exact same uh, dry cleaning tag on it. This is a Bailey 44, which I think is like Revolve, extra small. And it's like a, one of those bandage dresses. Really nice, there's nothing wrong with it. No like stains or discolorations or pulls, cause especially with white, that's always something you need to be concerned about. Really nice, heavy quality. It's got like a little back there. Definitely nice for like, um, you know, spring, summer, bridal showers or any kind of events coming up. This I couldn't believe was only $5. I think somebody uh, didn't price this correctly. So it's J. Crew, actual J. Crew, and it's not the outlet or anything, size two. And it's like a little tweed jacket, and then it has these zippers as well on the sleeves but like the pattern is really cool it's got like some sparkle in there just a little cropped zip up jacket i don't know if i can put all these items on my lap but we'll see what we can do 
Um, I only got this because it was $4 and Banana Republic, it's a medium. I think this had a bunch of different blends of, yeah, it has alpaca in here, wool and acrylic, that's why I grabbed it. It's a little zipper vest and it's like all fluffy here. I mean, this would be nice for the spring with like a black long sleeve or a white long sleeve underneath. So that one. The next, again, I only picked this up based on size and style. Uh, this is a real Wilfred Free Large. Um, uh, you can kind of see. It's a leopard sweater. It's got some black knit. And this is, when I looked it up, um, the tag inside, it's like a cashmere blend. That's how this looks. It's really cute. I could not leave that one behind. Next piece. This I thought was <laughs> something that I would totally pick up. Uh, it's got buttons. I'm not going to do them up because it'll probably take me a while. Uh, Northern Traditions. It's a small. It's a sweater or sweater vest. It's just a vest. It's got cats. Cat vest can't pass that and then the back is just plain but it's got like the cinched in back I grabbed this this was like randomly I'm probably gonna give this to my brother because he's a game collector I'm gonna see if he has this but it's like um, a VHS Nintendo 64 Diddy Kong Racing I don't think he has that he's a video game collector so I thought he might like that the next piece is a medium athleta like a long sleeve workout shirt and the back's actually got a nice design on it I mean I don't really sell a lot of Ethleta I know it's a pretty easy brand to sell and then I grabbed the sweater this is again a, a cashmere blend it's Elaine Fisher I don't do very well with it I have spooled Elaine Fisher but not a lot a size medium Again, based on the style, I thought it was nice. So it has a bunch of like sequin beading. It's very long, tight in the bottom, long sleeve, very soft. And the last piece, oh, oh no, there's one more under here. Um, this was really cheap, that's why I grabbed. It's only $5. This is a Wilfred Free Medium. It's just a long, like a, just a green t-shirt dress. It's kind of like an olive green or uh, forest green it's just it's very basic the last thing is big <laughs> uh, the girls like in the store she's like that is so cute it was actually $12 originally and then I got the discount it's American Eagle I don't really pick up a lot of American Eagle I don't know what size this is uh, is there no size oh wait eight eight long it's gonna be very hard to show this piece. Okay. It's overalls, corduroy overalls. It's got a zipper in the back and super wide leg flare. Let's just say it's really cool. When I saw that, I was like, you know what? I have never picked up the brand. Well, I've sold it, but not a lot. I haven't sold anything like that or had anything like that in my closet and I am branching out into more different styles and more trendier pieces and I'm being extremely picky but considering the girl at the cashier was not like those I'm like thinking all right well I guess I did okay I'm just gonna shove all this stuff back in here so so far I've spent like $250 um, I'm, I was going to go to the other value village, but let me tell you guys, I'm a little tired. <laughs> uh, I think it's about two o'clock. I left my house a little after nine this morning. So, I mean, you know, you put in a lot of time thrifting and all this stuff, but instead of maybe going to another value village, cause that might take me a while to go there cause it's a big store. I'm going to actually call up the Salvation Army, which is a small store near my house and see if they are opened and maybe I'm gonna head there if they are 
So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call them and see, and I'll uh, we'll see where we go. This might be the end. If this is the end of this video because I decided I'm not going anywhere else. You guys could like this video and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of this now that our stores are opened. So, and if our stores are open, then we'll go to the next clip. Bye if if I'm gone.